So there has been a lot of controversy surrounding the Dragon Ball community within the last couple of weeks, specifically following the release of Dragon Ball Super Broly internationally following its debut on December 14th in Japan, and a lot of the controversies behind what's been going on within the Dragon Ball community, and more specifically within the voice acting community for Funimation and various other companies, has been the incident and accusations involving Vic Mignogna and the sexual allegations and homophobic slash anti-Semitic remarks being made by people all across Twitter which are accusing him of being an enabler in following the acts of him having to sexually assault fans and many people having to come out with or without evidence in making these claims. Now I do want to go on the record and say that my personal stance on this is I am in the middle. There is no irrefutable factual evidence to support the narrative that Vic Mignogna is of course 100% behind these sexual allegations in having to quote rape people or prey upon them in any sort of sexual act, then again, if a thorough investigation had been made on a part of these companies, and if various VAs are coming out from different sectors and different groups and speaking about this situation, then there has to be some truth to the narrative that Vic Mignogna had been doing certain things behind the scenes, or if not, within the public for everyone to see without anyone having to be conscious as to what's been happening. So for me, I don't have any personal bias towards either part because if you begin to look at this narrative from a subjective point of view, as an example, you're a huge fan of Monica Rial's work, or if you're a huge fan of Vic Mignogna's work, then your own subjective bias is going to be injected in the overall situation, in thus favoring one party by dismissing the evidence of the other. But then again, that all boils down to where you classify or nor how you classify sexual harassment. Now, I do think that by the end of all of this, fans should not harass Monica Rial or Vic Mignogna. Now, why does this involve Monica Rial? Well, Monica Rial was one of the many voice actresses coming out on Twitter and stating that a similar incident to this has happened to her involving Vic Mignogna. But then again, when looking at the objective evidence, one has to ask themselves if Monica Rial had known about these incidences for a long time, then how come she had never spoken out any sooner prior to the Dragon Ball Super Broly release? That could be one way of not wanting the movie to be affected financially given that Dragon Ball Super Broly right Right now has grossed in over 100 million dollars, which is a great thing for the Dragon Ball fans and for the Dragon Ball workers and producers and everybody behind the film. It is a highly successful movie and I do want to state that neither party, no fans should go out of their way to personally attack Monica Rial or Vic Mignogna. Of course, we aren't living during the days of the Salem Witch Trials, thus we can't start accusing people without evidence and burning them to the stake. However, those that are accusing said individuals of certain acts shouldn't also be faced with personal backlash but more or less challenged on their stances. A lot of people are going out of their ways in making threats and attacking people personally on a personal level without challenging or putting into question the claims being made but rather attacking said individuals personally which I do not agree on. No party in the situation should be attacked, no party in the situation should feel threatened but instead the claims having to be made should be put into action. And I I will say this, if by some chance Vic Mignogna is guilty of these actions, they need to put Vic Mignogna away. They need to lock him up. Why? Because if this incident or incidences have happened before and this person is allowed to walk the streets today without having to be trialed and put away for his actions, then the people that are making this claim are in the wrong for not putting him away. If this man for the claims having to be made are true, then he is still Still roaming the streets and that is not a good sign for those that are unaware and happen to come across him once more because the action still can be repeated based on the narrative and the evidence having to be presented to be correct. But if in fact Vic Mignogna is innocent and the people going out of their way to make these claims are in the wrong, then I think what had happened to Vic Mignogna in losing his positions in voice acting, losing his job, and having to be harassed by people is utterly and completely wrong. There are specific Facebook groups out there going around photoshopping evidence, basically tampering with certain pictures. There have been people that have met Vic Mignogna before posting pictures and those pictures are 
are being used and twisted to suit a certain narrative to paint Vic out as the bad guy, and that is something that I think nobody out there should do, because there are many gullible people out there that are going to believe a certain narrative without proper evidence, and that evidence is being tampered with by a certain sector in order to make one party stand out among the other. And I think that if Vic Mignogna is in fact innocent in this case, if he is innocent, then I think all the voice actors, I think more or less the community, owes this man a public apology. Why? Because this is a defamation of character, this is harassment on a very extreme level, and if he were to take legal action against those making false accusations, he can do that. Now for those who stand with the hashtag KickVic, and for those that stand with the hashtag I stand with Vic, I want to know in the comments section, why is it that you guys favor one group over the other? Why is it that you want to stand with hashtag KickVic, and why do those of you out there stand with hashtag I stand with Vic? I would love to have a conversation and engagement in the comment section down below to see where your personal stances are in providing an intellectual conversation for all of us to engage in without meaningless threats without insults, I would like to have a conversation with both parties and seeing where you guys stand. Now again, through the fans perspective, their own personal subjective bias cannot be injected in this overall narrative. Why? Because we're not there spending time with Vic Mignogna. We're not there interacting with Vic Mignogna on a daily basis. Granted, there might be certain people that have that exclusive right to do so and or doing right now. For both Vic Mignogna and Monica Rial, at the end of the day, we really don't have any power in this say because this would have to be taken to court, I believe, in order to settle the entire case in proving whether or not he did this. If Vic Mignogna did in fact do this and the evidence proves to be correct, he should be locked up and he shouldn't be involved in voice acting or being a part of any convention given the actions of him having to prey upon young people and going as far as to do inappropriate things without their consent. However, if the evidence proves to be false, and these are false accusations and Vic is innocent, then I do believe that a public apology needs to be made. I do also think that if he is innocent, his roles for certain voice acting, such as being a part of Full Metal Alchemist and Dragon Ball Super should be revised, changed, and allow him to be reinstated in those positions if he is innocent. If he is guilty, he should be kept far away from voice acting and further punishment should be passed down by the court of law in terms of his actions and what he had done before. And what's really baffling about this entire situation is that both groups seem to have flip-flopping evidence, flip-flopping claims. It seems that both parties on both ends seem to be inconsistent with their narratives, but the only people that truly know, truly know everything that has happened deep down are the people that are closest involved with Vic Mignogna. The victims, the quote victims that have been a part of this situation, they're the real ones that know if they have been affected, they know the truth. If they are making up these accusations, then they still know the truth and the fact that they're lying. But then again, nobody can really prove that. I think the only way to prove this is to allow both parties to go to court, settle this entire situation in a legal way, as I do think in my own opinion, having to go to trial does solve a lot of things because it's the highest form of having to prove whether or not someone is guilty or innocent, and that's just my stance. I think that if someone is being accused of murder, rape, sexual allegations, theft, anything like that should be taken to trial because those are serious claims and there are people currently in the world right now being affected by those very same claims people out there and remember this is a big world and this world is not filled with sunshines and rainbows there are things happening in the world right now whether we're conscious of it or not that is affecting a lot of people in negative ways rape sexual misconduct murder drug trafficking theft there are so many things happening in the world right now, I don't think that we live in an era to where we can just point at someone and accuse them of being a bad person without there having to be a reason. I do think that there is a reason for everything that basically happens in the world. I do think that there is a reason why certain things happen and for whatever reason this is, I do think that there is truth 
behind what both parties are claiming. I think that it's wrong that both parties are having death threats be made to them by fans. That is something that's drawing the line and I don't think that it's okay for anybody to have their life be threatened. But I do think this entire situation has gotten out of hand. I never wanted to make this video to begin with. A lot of you guys, a lot of people wanted to know my stance and so I'm making this video right now expressing how I feel. I'm not working for Funimation. I'm not backing anybody up. So I really don't know what's going on. I was never there. I'm just going based off of what I'm seeing and I do think that it's a pretty sticky situation especially coming off of such a good movie Dragon Ball Super Broly I think in my opinion was a really good Dragon Ball movie I think that it was something that super needed to be the animation the quality the music the story everything about that movie was phenomenal and for this to happen all of a sudden for voice actors to be accusing one another of things and for fans to be attacking and witch hunting it's insane I think that originally the movie Movie brought us all together and I don't think that something like this should tear us apart whether or not you feel one way for a person in comparison to someone else that's your own subjective opinion but a lot of people a lot of people a lot more people than I thought would originally ask me have asked me about this entire situation so I figured I would address it and I want to get to know your thoughts in the comment section below how you feel if you feel like Vic is wrong I would like to know why if you guys want to defend Vic I would like to know why drop your thoughts in the comment section below thank you all so much for watching I hope we can all get along because anime itself is scrutinized in the public by a lot of people when they look at anime they say oh you're a nerd you're a weeb you're a loser but I don't think that's the case at all so I for one do love anime I love Dragon Ball and if you feel the same I hope you guys take the time to slap a like on this video hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more commentary videos such as this on this channel I do tend to post lots of other commentary videos but this is the one of many that I do plan on posting in the near future so if you guys love anime Dragon Ball movies hit that subscribe button everybody thank you all for watching once more and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below have a great day guys peace